Some time ago, I made my first tests with self-made lithium-ion batteries on my Nazgul. After these tests and some lack of knowledge on my side, I decided to continue flying only with lipo batteries. But the urge to fly longer distances brought up the subject of lithium-ion batteries again. I bought a used 4000 mAh battery and used it for my current distance record flight with the Bob 57 a few weeks ago. Now I want to know if the battery technology can really make a difference. The LiPo battery is a bit heavier and has about 17 to 18% less capacity. The lithium ion battery can provide less power in critical situations. But do you really need more power on cinematic long range flights? Another advantage of the lithium ion battery is its voltage behavior when it is running out of capacity. Lipo batteries tend to drop the voltage quickly and your drone may fall out of the sky more unexpectedly. For this test of the two batteries I used my Bob 57, which can easily carry both batteries. The weight of the batteries is almost identical with 467 grams for the Lipo and 453 grams for the lithium ion. I will fully charge both batteries after the flights to get the real used capacity. The values from the OSD are never 100% accurate. After recharging, I will do some calculations to see if we can use the extra capacity of the lithium-ion battery for longer FPV trips. Since the voltage of the lithium-ion battery is lower than that of the LiPo, I assume that the Bob will need a few more milliamps for the same distance, even though the lithium-ion battery is lighter. But we will see. For now, enjoy the flight on this beautiful ridge which you may already know from some of my other videos.
Since I had some capacity left on the lithium-ion battery, I took the bob up to the waterfall behind me. For this reason, I used the milliamperes consumed up to here near the home point for my calculations. I set the milliamps from the OSD in relation to the recharged milliamps to get good comparisons. I used 2,134 milliamp hours from the flight with the LiPo battery and 2,250 milliamp hours from the flight with the lithium ion battery used so far. If we put this value in relation to the total energy used in the OSD to the recharged milliamperes, which were slightly higher than the OSD values, we get 2,269 milliamp hours for the flight with the LiPo battery and 2,459 milliamp hours for the flight with the lithium ion. If we assume that we want to land with about 20% of the remaining capacity, we can use 2,640 milliamp hours for the LiPo battery and 3,200 milliamp hours for the lithium ion battery. Using these values, we have 14% left on the LiPo and 23% on the lithium ion. Not the same difference of about 17% as the total or usable capacity, but still 9 additional percent we can use for some extra meters and for confidence when flying long distances. I am glad I did the test with the Bob and that the difference is not as big as some videos and maybe some marketing would have us believe. But almost 10% more capacity for the same weight is an argument that cannot be dismissed. Although the values may vary on different drones and conditions. I think everyone has to find their own setup that they're comfortable with. For me, having flown lithium-ion batteries for a few flights now, the extra capacity is definitely an advantage that I want to use for my larger long-range trips. Maybe this battery will also fit under my Recon Y6.